In this video lecture, we're going to discuss some confusions uh, that arise when we talk about reversible reactions, the Lee Shatler principle, and the rate of reaction. Now, uh, I'll start off with an example. Uh, let's think of an example. Let's say I have, I have nitrogen, and it is reacting with hydrogen, three H two, and they're both uh, producing two molecules of. NH3 and this is a reversible reaction and they are all gaseous so and the enthalpy change for the forward reaction the forward reaction in this case is it is exothermic which means that the reverse reaction would be vice versa it would be endothermic so this is a reversible reaction and let's say I, I uh, change the conditions this reaction is at equilibrium and I decrease temperature now I'm decreasing temperature and we've already studied that according to Shatler's principle if I decrease temperature then the equilibrium is going to try and do the opposite it's going to try and increase temperature and the way it can increase temperature is by favoring the exothermic reaction so the exothermic reaction is favored now uh, in this case the exothermic reaction is the forward reaction which also means that uh, it means that the forward reaction is favored so the forward reaction is favored or we can also say that the forward reaction uh, speeds up the forward reaction is is faster now I am using all these uh, terms. Now there's one uh, very major confusion. We also we also write that the that the equilibrium shifts to the right. So our equilibrium in this case shifts to the right. So our equilibrium shifts to the right hand side. So I'm going to use abbreviations okay now the the confusion is with this term that the forward reaction is faster because if we if we if we uh, as if if you've studied the rate of reaction you would know that whenever you decrease temperature whenever you do that your rate of reaction always decreases So your rate of reaction is always going to decrease. Now there's, there's one problem that the equilibrium is stating that the forward reaction is faster, this, this statement over here, whereas according to rate of reaction, whenever you decrease temperature, your rate of reaction is always going to decrease. So the confusion is with this term over here, and I'm going to highlight it further and we'll discuss this confusion so when we talk about equilibrium and we say that the forward reaction is faster we don't mean that it's actually faster what it means is that the forward reaction the forward reaction is faster compared to the compared to the backward reaction so it means that the forward reaction is faster compared to the backward reaction it doesn't mean that the reaction is actually faster so uh, if I if I if I if we look at this term again Let me make a few corrections. Okay, so if I if I look at this term again, 
and I compare it with what I've written over here, which is the de Shatler principle. So the forward reaction is faster, and if I go to the equation again, what that means is that when you decrease temperature, both reactions are slowing down. Which one is slowing down more? The backward reaction is slowing down more and the forward reaction is slowing down less. And if you compare them, if you compare them with each other, but that would mean that the forward reaction is faster compared to the backward reaction. So this term has nothing to do with the rate of reaction. It's simply comparing the two reactions and it's finding out which of the reaction is faster with respect to each other. So uh, when we decrease temperature, both rates, both forward and backward reactions would slow down. But if you compare the two, which one would be faster? The forward reaction would be faster compared to the backward reaction. So, so the Lee Shatler principle has nothing to do with the rate of reaction. The rate of re reaction is determined by other factors. What the Lee Shatler principle simply states is that which reaction is favored. Forward, the forward reaction is favored or the backward reaction is favored. If I say the forward reaction is faster it doesn't mean that it's actually faster it's simply when you're comparing the forward reaction with the backward reaction it's faster than the backward reaction the reality might be that the both both of the reactions might be slowing down which is in this example in this example if i decrease temperature both reactions would slow down but if i compare the two which one would be faster the forward reaction would be faster and the equilibrium is going to shift and favor the right hand side because the forward reaction would be faster compared to the backward reaction. I hope this clears your confusion.